Good evening, oh, teacher. Okay, okay. Hello, good evening. Hello. So, um, here we are once again, ready to get started, ready to get rumble. Uh, it's a new week, it's a new chance to continue learning. So, welcome, guys. Welcome to um, well, your fifth lesson. It is great to see you once again, and I hope you guys had a great time during the weekend. You were able to um uh to rest you know to have a, a great time um with your family with your friends or simply by yourself you know enjoying um your free time as well of course i hope that you guys were able um to practice because that is of course a very important part of the program and the whole process of learning a new language. I hope you had a chance to, I don't know, maybe discover a new word or outer a few words, you know, say a few things, sing a song in English. I don't know, just do something, some practice. So yeah, I hope, uh, you know, that everything worked amazing. Uh, now, how about tonight? Tonight, we are going to be working on... Well, we're going to kind of continue working with um, the modals, you know, for a bit. And we also are going to talk about um, the illnesses thing that I was mentioning last time. If you guys remember, we are also going to talk about that, about health issues and some of the most common health issues that people have. Um, so, yeah, those are going to be like, you know, the main objectives for this evening, um, the health issues and a continuation of the models, like, you know, exploring some other um, modal verbs. Now, uh, as I was saying, it is great to have you back. It is great to see you here once again. Now, uh, the question for tonight is relatively simple. I am going to go ahead and ask you for um, your weekend. So, how was the weekend? Basically, that's the question. You know, how was your weekend? So let's get started. And I feel like I would like to start by hearing from Cindy. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Um, I went to airport. Airport. Mm -hmm, the airport. Because my father arrived um yesterday. Oh, Sunday. Yes, and uh, I we eat pupusas mm -hmm. and Coca Cola. Pretty nice. Um, and Sábado, Sat Saturday, Saturday day, and I stay home. Okay. Just preparing yes. yourself, you know, for uh, for the arrival of your father, I, I will assume. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's nice. You know, I hope you have an amazing time with him and you can go and yes. eat pupusas, you know, a few more times before he has to leave, if he has to leave. So, yeah, very good. Very, very nice. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. Thank you. Um, How about in the case of um, Angel Pineda? How about you, Angel? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello there. Uh, I was with uh, my wife, and then we we went mm -hmm. we, uh, uh, to to uh, Salvador del Mundo. You can uh, say it like that. You can say El Salvador del Mundo because it's a monument. So, yeah, it, it can be in Spanish. Uh, in uh, este, voy a ver. Uh, in Os, uh, Sunday, uh, we, we went uh, to church. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay uh, that's great you know that's that's pretty cool um so yeah it sounds like you had some you know some good adventures some good 
activities going on. So pretty cool. Very, very good. Thank you very much for sharing. All right. Yes, yes. Um, how about in the case of Gilbert? How about you, Gilbert? How was your weekend? Teacher, oh, how are you? Good. Thank uh, you for asking. In, in my weekend, I was at home resting with my family. Very good. You know, that's something very nice to do. Um, what activities did you happen to, to do? Did you, I don't know, watch a movie or something with your family? Uh, watch a movie, teacher. And I like uh, play the guitar. Oh, that's great. That's a nice activity to, you know, to practice. So very good. Sounds very, very nice. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing, Gilbert. Thank you, teacher. Um, okay, how about Edwin? Did you end up going out with your friends, Edwin, to Cuatepeque? Hello, good evening. Hello. Yes, of course. My weekend was okay according to plan. Uh, Saturday in the morning, I worked a lot. For that reason, in the afternoon, I took a nap because necessary. Yeah. So at night I, I went out with my family to to meet a new restaurant. So Sunday in the morning I I went to a Quarabake Lake with my friends and we prepared a delicious soup, chicken soup. Only oh, that. Pretty cool. No, that's great. You know, that's something very, very nice to do. So good. Yeah, great. That's that's great. Um, and as you said, it was according to plan because basically that's what, you know, you stated you were going to do on, uh, you know, last class on Friday when I asked you about your plans for the weekend. So great. Very good. How about in the case of Connie? How about you, Connie? Um, how was your weekend? Good evening. Good evening. But, um, Saturday, I wait, I, I go at, at my Work Saturday, Sunday, it's the same. Uh, I got the I work and the morning, but the after uh, yesterday, I mm -hmm. we go on my my family. I visit my mother. It's a uh, Take a food day. The food sense and samples is delicious. Okay. That's, that's okay. Very good. Yeah, that sounds, you know, it sounds like you did a few things and you got a chance to see your mom. So that's something great as well. Yes. Um, so yeah, very good. Very, very good. Thank you very much for sharing. And uh yeah. Okay, how about in the case of uh David? How about you, David? How was your weekend? Well, good evening, everyone. Um, my Saturday, first, I worked in the morning. In the afternoon, I went to a play soccer with my friends. Uh, at night, I went to eat eight pupusas. Uh, sorry, I went to eat pupusas. Mm -hmm. And Sunday, in the morning, I went to the church because um, it's Sunday now. It's mm -hmm. uh, Lord Day, but um, in the afternoon I took a nap. A very, very uh, refreshing nap. nap. Nice. Yes. Oh, okay. It's extended nap because yes, uh, just right now I worked again. All right. Well, that's you know, um, resting is of course very important. Uh. Now, if you ask me, just right now, as you were, uh, you know, uh, explaining your weekend, I was also trying to remember my weekend, and I just feel like it went by so quickly. And the only thing I do remember is that I did also take a nap. I took a nap. It was not like um planned. It was not like a nap nap because I basically fell asleep while watching something, um, yesterday around one p.m. sort of, um. So yeah. It was quite a short weekend, I felt. Um, because yeah, I, I worked on Saturday. I went to church on Saturday afternoon, afternoon and night. 
Um, I went, um, you know, to eat pupusas with my girlfriend on Saturday as well at night. And a lot of things happened that night, actually, I, now that I remember. Um, Sunday was kind of quiet. I went to the market. Then I, you know, I watched the uh, um, F1 race. I don't know if you guys know anything about that. Uh, but yeah, I also was thinking, I don't know if I have any fans of Shingeki no Kyojin or Attack on Titan here. Because, yeah, this week uh, or this week, yeah, yeah. That's a sad and sad. I and know. Sad. I know. I, I, I cried. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's not literally bad. Yes, it's very sad because it was the end of ten years. Uh, serious. Such uh, a long a story. Of, it's a lot of time. Yeah, it's a long, long time, and you know, it's it's a it's a a lot of things that we have been through, um, with that anime. So yeah, um. My girlfriend, she watched it on Saturday. She was, you know, she wanted me to stay. But if I had stayed at her house, I was, you know, supposed to stay at like around 11 p.m. until dawn. So I was like, no, I'll watch it by myself. Um, So, yeah, I did watch it last night. And uh, I don't know. It was such a sad thing. I I do remember that as soon as I finished that, I went to bed um, still in tears because, yeah, it was such a such a great but at the same time heavy thing to do so yeah but quite an experience at the same time um uh, but yeah that was basically my weekend that's all the things that i did because i oh wait no i did went out with my sisters as well um yesterday afternoon we went to eat something so it was kind of easy but it was it was there there now how about we hear from um gabriela so, Gabriela Barrera, in your case, how was your weekend? Um, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, on Saturday, I just rest and took care of my daughter. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday, we went to the Plan de la Laguna Park for celebrating a mother-in-law birthday and that's oh, cool that's cool you know sounds like like you know a nice nice weekend and nice outing as well going to celebrate a party of course it's always a great option so good <clears throat> very good thank you very much for sharing all right how about in the case of uh, maria magdalena how was your weekend hi good evening good evening well, um, I work harder on Saturday morning, but in the afternoon I slept the whole <clears throat> the whole afternoon, watch TV, make the laundry. But in general, I rest a lot on the weekend. All right. Well, you know that's great. Even though you had to work, you also uh, were able to find some time for yourself and for you to rest. So. Yeah, that's that's something great that you know uh, we need to find that balance to work but at the same time take care of ourselves and also take some some resting so good very very good and uh we're gonna hear from two more people one of those is going to be eric in your case eric how was your weekend hello good night people so my weekend not was good because I was a little sick, sick and I, I just stay at home whole days, both days. Well, sad, very sad. Uh what's got you wrong? Like what's the um the illness that you have right now? <laughs> I was I don't know who they say the Lord of the Stomach. I don't know. You tell me. Ya vamos a aprender, de hecho, ahorita, justo en un ratito lo vamos a ver. Because, ya, yeah, ahorita eh, les cobro por decirle. <laughs> but wait, yeah. Maybe, maybe, I guess it's too much. Get it? So, so, I don't know. How do you say? Ya hicimos una mezcla ahí, pero más o menos por ahí va. Sí. Es stomachache. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. right. Stomachache. Very good. Thank you, Connie. Thank you very much. All right, but yeah, that's that's sad, you know. It, I was about to say that's good, but no, that's sad. That's sad that you, you know, you were um sick. So yeah. Ahora, 
<coughs> perdón. Una cosa importante que quiero que sepan que esto cada rato se me, o sea, se me pasa por la mente y nunca se los menciono a, a los grupos, es esa palabra, el decir sick, ¿sí? Um, no sé si ustedes saben, pero a veces es preferible cuando ustedes están enfermos el decir I am ill. Yo sé que ahorita ustedes ven como si les mandé solo tres rayitas, pero no, créanme, es una I mayúscula y luego dos L's. Pero eh, I am ill en lugar de decir I am sick, ¿Por qué? Eh, verán, muchos niños, y esto principalmente ha sido por niños, ya después obviamente esos niños crecieron y después ya son adultos y ahora, ajá, ya funciona, ¿verdad? Eh, en, en muchos niveles, pero digamos, muchas personas a las que les gusta eh, los juegos extremos o practicar deportes extremos, tienen esa palabra, sí, la palabra sick, como un adjetivo positivo. Lo utilizan para describir algo que es extravagante, o sea, algo que se ve bien, ¿sí? O sea, por ejemplo, si alguien, digamos, hace algo así, hace algo genial, ¿sí? Le dicen, bro, that is sick, o sea, eso es genial. Entonces, eh, la palabra sick, si bien es cierto, funciona para definir o para describir que yo estoy enfermo, también puede utilizarse para describir que algo es como despampanante, fabuloso, ¿sí? That's sick. Entonces, eh, ahí está, ¿verdad? O sea, un poco de lo que, de lo que a veces, o sea, la, como polivalencia que pueden llegar a tener algunas palabras en inglés. O sea, significan una cosa y luego otra. Entonces, ya, yeah, saying that this is sick puede significar, ¿verdad? Que es algo extravagante, algo genial que estamos viviendo. So, ya. Yeah. Pero bueno, vamos a ver. Um, the last person that I'm going to hear from tonight is going to be, let's see, Susana. In your case, Susana, how was your weekend? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, this week I organized my first part, my, my first neon party. Mm -hmm. uh, there were many colors and people in re really enjoy uh, the party. Mm -hmm. Uh, I feel that everyone liked the event. Uh, so I feel tired. <laughs> well, things that happen sometimes, you know. But still, that's great. You know, it's it's great that you uh, had the chance to, um, I don't know, to experience how it felt, how it feels like to make something for other people and you also got to see how they enjoy it. So I feel like that is a great experience and that is part of why people enjoy, you know, creating um, things for others. So yeah, that's great. Very, very good. So congratulations on the success of your party at the same time. So yeah, great. Okay, so um, now that we have heard, you know, from our experiences during the week, We are going to go ahead and start working on this, the health issues or health problems. Ahora, diferencias que existen entre issues y problems. Issues simplemente son como situaciones complicadas, por decir así. Cuando alguien tiene health issues, o sea, se pueden tener como algo pasajero, algo no extremadamente serio. A health problem es ya como algo un poco más complejo, ¿ok? Entonces, issues y problems son muy similares, pero issues eh, pues tiene como, digamos, una forma de verse que es un poquito diferente. Así que eso, ¿verdad? Es importante tomarlo en cuenta. Issues and problems. Muy bien, pero vamos a... Oh, ¿sí? Just to clarify, issue can be... Uh, uh, that mean a un problema menor... Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, o sea, por ejemplo, digamos si es algo tecnológico, por lo general se llama issue o se utiliza más la palabra issue en situaciones así como cuando hay, qué sé yo, cuando tenemos necesidad de contactar, ¿verdad? A un agente, a un, un when we have to call a contact center or something, normally we say, I am having issues with my equipment, I am having issues with my network, I am having issues with this and that. Because it's like 
our life doesn't depend on that. You know, it's not something that is going to change our lives completely. Um, now, different, it is completely different. If, for example, um, you are about to, I don't know, present a, a, a thesis, you know, and it's going to be something that you're going to do online and your internet is not working, then you do have a problem because if you do not, if you do not present your thesis, then and they give you like a deadline or you have like a deadline and all that, um, it's going to be harder. It's going to be very, very hard for you to like make that back or um, retake the chance of like in presenting your, your thesis. So in those occasions, we normally say problem, but a problem is something um, stronger, harder, more difficult than an issue. An issue is normally seen as something a little bit more easy to solve. So yeah. All right. So here we have the most common health issues or health problems, um, which are, well, a headache. Who hasn't, you know, um, had a headache in life? Like, basically, there are some headaches that are just like rapid events. You know, they happen today and they are gone tomorrow. You know, it's something like very, very fast. But yeah, headaches are some of those um common occurring things that happen in life. So yeah, a headache. Then we have a backache. Well, a backache is also a recurring issue when you are getting older, you start feeling backaches more often. Sometimes maybe because you don't sit straight, you don't sit well, like the way you sit might affect, you know, how um your back feels. Also, maybe um, the kind of job that you perform, like if you are lifting things, heavy things all the time, it is way more common for you to have back aches. Um, then we have sore muscles. Well, sore muscles, they normally happen after, um, after some sort of like power up exercise, some sort of um, extortion on the muscles extortion means you know like extra effort like harder or more um intense um, ex exercise so sore muscles serían como los músculos adoloridos verdad cuando ustedes se sienten sore el cuerpo completo se pueden decir i feel sore today es como que estoy adolorido like uh let's say you go to the beach or you go on a long trip and uh, you have to stay in the car, bus, or anything for up to 12 hours or even more, um, then you can get to feel sore muscles. Uh, then we have a stomach ache. A stomach ache is one of those situations that happen here, as um, Eric was mentioning, you know, is something that happens in your stomach. So a stomach ache. Then we have a cold. A cold is, well, when you ah, aquí es una cosa importante. See, a cold, a cough, those are similar, but they're not the same. A cold, normally, what you do is that maybe you're sneezing, maybe you have some um like a runny nose or something coming out of your nose, but there is not necessarily coughing included into it. So it's more like a sneezing temperature and um, a runny nose. That's like the most common thing or those are like the most common things that you experience when you have a cold. When you have a cough, in the other hand, having a cough is much harder. You do get, uh, you know, the, the, the temperature or like the, um, the um, higher temperatures. You do get also um, some phlegmas and you also get a runny nose and uh, Probably, you know, you can even get to experience um, like runny eyes as well. So, yeah, having a, a cough is much harder. Uh, yes, Jose? Uh, yes, a question, Tisha. To say, it, it's correct say, I have a cough? I have a cough. I have a cough. Yeah, I mean, either or. Either, either or. Cualquiera de los dos se pueden utilizar, ¿verdad? Así como, I have a cold. Sí, I have a cold, I have a cough. Cualquiera de los dos podría ser utilizado okay. de esa Thank forma. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. No, no problem. Ok, so yes, I have a cold, I have a cough. Entonces, un cold, para que lo entendamos bien, sería como una gripe, ¿verdad? Algo pasajero. O sea, una... Creo que nosotros en muchas ocasiones, o sea, nosotros hablo de los salvadoreños, ¿verdad? A veces usamos mal 
el significado de una gripe. O sea, porque muchas veces alguien anda con la gran tos y dicen, no, es una gripita que anda. Y o sea, ya se anda muriendo la persona. Tener un cold es algo como sencillo, o sea, algo que pasa, pasa fácil. En cambio, o sea, digamos ya, qué sé yo, un té, algo caliente, una sopita y ya, se quita, ¿verdad? O se van, al menos los síntomas. ¿Hola? Sería como un resfriado. Básicamente, ajá. Tener una cold es como un resfriado. En cambio, when you have a cough, ahí sí, ¿verdad? Es algo ya más intenso porque pues es cuando tenemos la que conocemos como la tos. Ahora, aquí viene una cosa que muchos maestros en ocasiones han mencionado, pero quizás no lo han experimentado. Y yo no necesariamente lo experimenté porque no lo viví en, en cuerpo y alma, pero sí, o sea pude ver los efectos de esta enfermedad, que es el flu, ¿sí? Muchas, en muchas, muchas ocasiones yo he tenido estudiantes que me dicen, no, teacher, I have flu. Entonces, si antes, ¿verdad? Antes, o bueno, me refiero, cuando te, estaba, por ejemplo, yo estudiando y mis compañeros decían, I have a flu, yo no le paraba, eh, no, o sea, no le daba mayor importancia, no, le, no, le, no les, o sea, no tenía como algo importante para mí el que dijeran, I have a flu, pero... A, a raíz de la experiencia que yo viví, ¿verdad? Que, que tuve la chance de estar en Estados Unidos, yo me di cuenta de algo. Sí, exactamente. Lo que, justo lo que acaba de decir Eric, sí. El tener el flu es casi como, eh, o sea, la enfermedad que nos afectó tanto durante la pandemia. O sea, los efectos que ustedes tienen es eso, ¿verdad? Los ojos irritados, la piel también. Eh, o sea, están tosiendo, pero a la misma vez tienen la garganta seca. Y es un montón de cosas, o sea, es una enfermedad que en Estados Unidos, por eso es que al principio, no sé si, si alguno de ustedes en algún momento leyó o siguió esas noticias, pero al principio en Estados Unidos se daba, ¿verdad? O se mencionaba bastante que estaba eso encima, digamos, el, 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 el flu, y o sea, las personas no lo vieron, perdón, venía lo de la pandemia, y las personas no lo vieron como algo que iba a afectar demasiado porque decían, no, con el verano se va, al igual que pasa con la flu. O sea, porque la flu es como los que llaman las seasonal illnesses, que solo son por temporadas. Entonces, la flu afecta mayormente durante el invierno, cuando las temperaturas son bajas. Pero, o sea, es mortífera. Sí, las personas que tienen la flu, pues muchas terminan falleciendo. Entonces, es algo bien, bien complicado. No es, o sea, simplemente tener una tos, una gripe. O sea, no. Sino que tener el flu es algo bien, bien, bien difícil. O sea, y les digo que yo lo experimenté, pero en cierto modo no, porque, o sea, me preocupé. Sí me preocupé cuando una vez, la única vez casi que yo estuve enfermo en Estados Unidos, porque, o sea, yo no podía mover el cuerpo. Estaba como tendido en la cama. No podía mover casi que nada. Pero... Eh, después como de 12 horas me di cuenta de que lo, todo lo que yo tenía era alergia, o sea porque en ese tiempo, y era como más o menos a mediados de abril es en el lugar donde yo estaba al menos empezaba mucho más, ¿verdad? lo del de, polen en el aire y había muchas más flores y todo ya eh, surgiendo yo nunca había sentido, nunca había sufrido ningún, ninguna clase de alergia ni nada pero por lo que asumo, y digo que era una alergia, fue porque pues, me dijeron las personas de allí que a veces afectaba y todo me lo quitaron con una latadina. O sea que por eso yo sí casi que aseguro que sí era una alergia, aunque los síntomas o sea, eran más graves de lo que yo entendería como una alergia. Para mí una alergia o sea, sería algo sí complejo, ¿verdad? Pero tal vez no que me iba a tener en cama por un montón de horas. O sea, pero yo no me podía levantar, no podía estar despierto, era bien, bien complicado. Entonces, pero eh, me dieron una labratadina y con eso se me quitó y es como que el siguiente día, como si nada había pasado. Y Es, para decir eso, prof, para decir que si tuve usted una alergia. tengo, tengo alergia, porque yo creo que muchos eh, padecemos de, de, de alergia, en mi caso. Sí, simplemente I have an allergy. Ahora, ya, ya ahí depende de cuál tipo de alergia sea. ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo, ya tendríamos que decir, I, like if they ask you, you do have an allergy, so yes, you say I have an allergy. And then you start maybe clarifying, like, I am allergic to nuts. I am allergic to the pollen. In my case, that's my thing. I am allergic to feathers. Some people are allergic to feathers, but a, a las plumas. I'm allergic to cats. I'm allergic to dogs. I'm allergic to pets in general. Um, there are people who are allergic even to chocolate, milk. Um, so, yeah, anything 
that you have an allergy to, well, you have to specify. You're like, you simply say, I have an allergy y decimos acerca de qué, ¿verdad? Pero para decir acerca de qué es la alergia sería I'm allergic to. Sí, I'm allergic to. Entonces soy alérgico a. Y ahí pues claro, cada quien tendrá eh, pues digamos su especificación de a qué eh, tiene la alergia, ¿verdad? So yeah, I'm allergic to. Ok, then we have insomnia. So insomnia, it's a very common thing, something that is very, very common. Uh, people with insomnia, what they suffer is, as well, many of us or many of you may already know, is that, well, they have difficulty uh, with going to bed. So yeah, insomnia, it's another of those very common health issues. Now, um, I kind of wanted you guys to create like a list of symptoms or like a list of things that you do to like fight back all of these things. Y para eso quiero que nos dividamos en, en los rooms, sí. Quiero que vayamos y tratemos de compartir, o sea, pero que alguien tome notas, ¿verdad? Que tratemos de compartir cuáles son como las, digamos, los, los remedios comunes, tal vez no necesariamente eh, factibles para todos, pero remedios comunes o remedios extraños que nosotros conocemos para cada una de estas, eh, de esos padecimientos, sí, para el dolor de cabeza, para el dolor de espalda, para... Eh, los músculos adoloridos para el, estómago, el dolor de estómago para eh, un resfriado una gripa para una tos eh, de flu lo vamos a dejar fuera porque eso es algo que o sea, nosotros ni siquiera lo tenemos que vivir o sea no lo experimentamos porque a pesar que como les digo yo muchas veces he escuchado que los profes dicen oh no you got the flu o sea pero es porque pues quizás así como a los ciegos verdad uno dice o sea sin tener la experiencia uno cree que el flu simplemente es tener una gripe fuerte pero no, o sea, el flu es algo más serio, así que lo vamos a dejar fuera. Eh, y la insomnia. Para estas cosas, sí, estos, uh, these are basically seven things. So, yeah, for these things, let's get into the groups right now. Let's get into the, into the breakout rooms and let's try to share with the teams some of the most common um, remedies that we know uh, for these um, health issues. Ahora, Um, voy a ver ahorita cuáles van a ser los encargados de tomar notas. So in room one, the person that I want to hear from the notes uh, is going to be, um, let's see, Ángel Pineda. So in room one, Ángel Pineda, please uh, make sure to take notes and bring them back to the class. On room two, I think this time around we're going to hear from Jacqueline Mejía. Sí, Jacqueline Mejía. En caso que no haya, o sea, que la, la persona no conteste, ¿verdad? Mientras estén trabajando, pues uno de los demás que estén en el grupo se puede encargar. Eso no es problema. Pero, ajá. So, uh, Ángel Pineda, Jacqueline Mejía, room two, room three. Uh, I think we're going to take um, Lucía Monroy. So, you're going to be in charge of room three. And room four is going to be with um, Mr. Jiménez. Jose Jiménez, you are going to bring the details from room four. So I will open the rooms right now and I will be expecting your, um, all the suggestions that you guys have, you know, to solve these issues, uh, maybe in five minutes. So yeah, let's meet up again in five minutes to continue on with the class.
Más vale que les dije que alguien más se podía encargar porque si ven, no se unieron varios aquí. Ese fue el grupo que se quedó más chiquito. But yeah, um, you know, any of you guys can take the lead. Um, so yeah. Teams eh, for, for headache. Eh, I think so the take the, the para. Honey and lemon. Mm. Honey and lemon. Okay. Para el olor de estómago. Mm. Maybe uh, to the stomach ache, uh, maybe the for, to the babies. I remember when I was a child, my mom told me uh, told me he gives he gave me she gave me sorry um, water of rice or rice water. I think that's. Yes, agua de arroz, rice water. Agua de arroz, okay. ¿Qué más? I think tea. Um, how do you say manzanilla? I I think tea, tea de manzanilla. In English, you oh, have the guayaba. Uh, is. How do you say hoja de goya in English? Ni el traductor me lo traduce. I think um, someone sick. What is what 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 are the six? Me parece hoja de guayaba, me parece guapo. So, so much. Maybe another to, I don't know, a uh, her, headache. Cabeza, dolor de cabeza, headache. Uh, potatoes in slice. Mm -hmm. Two pot eyes in her with headaches. Ah, uh, one massage, massage. I don't know if you would remember the chichi pince lips, lips of chichi pince, of chichi pince. Maybe two and a. Mm. 
to one. GG beans and lips, I think. It's another. Okay, so um, that was cool. You know, we had uh, some great ideas on some of the things that, um, sorry, that we do or that, like, you know, our families do um, to go ahead and, to, and actually, you know, um, try to cure all these illnesses or health situations. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. We're going to wait a bit for everybody to be here. And, uh, yes, so, chef. yes. Eh, no me pude unir. Sí, así me di cuenta. Yo, Mira, mi internet malo. Sí, no hay problema. Hay grupo, hay me grupo. Me salí y me volví y me volví otra vez a, in, a meter, pero ya no, ya no me aparece. Ajá, al grupo le, le dije que, o sea, que ellos podían, eh, Ajá, sí, no, tomar no, notas no, no, a ellos. No, sé por qué no, uh -huh. no me pude conectar. Ok, no, no hay problema. A veces no, pasa okay. eso, con los, con los rooms a veces pasa eso. Pero será siempre eso, porque la vez pasada sí me pasó también. Eh, no sé, en su caso le, le aparece la notificación cuando se invita a CIA a ir al breakout room. Sí, sí, le pongo unir y después me dice conectando y ahí se queda como dando vuelta, conectando, conectando y nunca conecta. Y después me sale salir de la de la reunión Ajá. A, mí, a mí me ocurrió lo mismo eh, haga eso, salga de la reunión y vuelva a ingresar normalmente entonces ya puede puede volver sin problema Ajá. ah bueno, sí es lo que hice en este momento salirme y volver otra vez a meterme sí, porque otra persona que se había quedado como atascada creo que era Jaycee entonces ya en los últimos ratitos lo que pasa es que aparecen de nuevo como en la lista digamos eh, general así que yo lo que hice fue que le agregué eh, en ah, el grupo. Okay. Entonces, no, no en otra ocasión, o sea, lo que puede hacer es como dice, como bien dijo, dice José, ¿verdad? Solo salirnos rapidito y luego ya. Eh, ah, yo, okay. Si no eh, regresa al mismo grupo, la puedo agregar a otro. Ah, ok, está bien. Uh -huh. Gracias. Okay. No, you're very welcome. All right, so, um, who would like to start? ¿Quién quiere iniciar? A ver, de los que asigné, ¿quién quiere ser el primero en compartirnos la información que lograron recabar con los compañeros? Me. All right, go ahead, Tony. <laughs> For the headache after the Viva Peru. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, take the acetaminophen. Okay. For the package, is after, after the copal, balsam, balsam, mm -hmm. mentolado for the pain that the, the package. Mm -hmm. Same the sort of the muscle. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. And the stomach in face down, face down, eh, face down, boca abajo, no sé si está correcto, si como lo estoy diciendo. Mm -hmm, sí, face down. Face down for the stomach. 
o take the te de manza te de menta which is good ajá me sí ah a de co te de manzanilla with uh -huh. y eh, miel de abeja what is say miel de abeja um honey or uh, bee honey bee honey okay mm -hmm. thank you a cup same eh, take the eh, crema sanía honey mm -hmm. allergic take a shower for the allergic eh, or take the, the okay and insomnia eh, see the tiktok is the other other person <laughs> i think so is read a book uh well yeah i mean read a book will be better you know because yeah. i mean in my case i have one thing that i do every night and it's watching youtube videos like every night you know i search for a book and something that can call my attention so yeah that's something that i always do and um at the end, well, what I have ended up doing as well is that I have programmed my iPad uh, for it to basically turn off automatically after I don't touch it, you know, if I don't touch it after what, um, maybe five to 10 minutes. Um, because yeah, back in the day when I didn't add that setting to the iPad, it will like play videos over and over and over again. So it will basically be on like the whole night. Um, but yeah, in my case, that's what I do. I do watch uh, YouTube videos when I, you know, have issues um, going to bed. But yeah, reading is also an amazing option because, um, you know, after one or two pages, um, you're going to start, you know, to feel like you're uh, dreasing off. So yeah, that is a very good recommendation. Teacher, but, uh -huh. but when the reading is interesting, it's not good to sleep. The same with the TikToks, because I feel like, you know, if you have like a good feed, uh, in my case, I cannot because like most of the videos that I have on TikTok are like funny videos and, or sometimes are videos about uh, like technical things, you know, learning something. So I don't go to bed. I, don't, I cannot fall asleep easily if I go on TikTok. Uh, but yeah, that that is also right, because if you have a very interesting book to read, it is also going to be hard, you know, to detach from, from the book. Yes, for in my case, I prefer to watch videos. Mm -hmm. That's what I do most of the time, you know. Um, videos that I do not have, like, uh, interest on. That's what I do. I don't know if you guys have ever watched videos about how much does this cost or how hard it is to, like, produce this thing. So those are, like, the you know, the regular videos that I watch to go to bed. Um, things that are like a narration of a long process of something. Um, but okay, uh, how about we hear from Jose? I noticed that you also wanted to share. So Jose, in your case, what is the information you were able to gather? Um, in, in my case, mm -hmm. yeah, Matt, in, in my case, I, I don't have where to not, but we, we are uh, working together with Edwin Elgato. In, in order to answer this this question, uh, for example, for the head edge, uh, one partner say that drink a uh, uh, um, uh, tea tea mas, man, manzanilla tea mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. and um, if another uh, person say that. Um, uh, I'm not remember. Uh, can you have a please here, uh, Win? If you take some not. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Um. um for headache, uh, someone said, uh, "Drink acetaminophen." Okay. And for back bucket, I think. Maybe um, uh, someone used a cofal. Okay. And for insomnia, uh, I have heard uh, many people use, or oh, sorry, drink hot milk for to sleep. Mm -hmm. And others say drink coffee. Uh, if it's very rainy for <laughs> yeah. us. 
<laughs> someone said drink coffee, but it's strange. So in my case, when uh, I have insomnia, I listen to music and oh, okay. it's a good idea. Okay, great. Uh, only that. Cool, pretty cool. So you guys don't have anything for a cold or a cough? Uh, ah. Yes, for a cold or cough, uh, someone say and drink, no, just pick Baboru uh -huh. and drink a uh, lemon and honey. Okay, yeah, that's, like that. that's a very common solution. And, and, and Formula 44 is, is good. <laughs> it's getting expensive though. It's like eight dollars now. But it's like, good. It is good. Yes, it is good. But it's like eight dollars now. It is very expensive. <laughs> uh, when I was younger, I mean, I I used to have a lot of issues with my health, uh, mostly you know colds or coughs. And um, I remember when I was going to the university, uh, Formula Forty Four was about what like, um, three fifty when I started in 2013, 2014 maybe. Uh, it was like three fifty or four dollars maybe. When I was about to finish college, it was already five dollars, but now it's around eight dollars. Like I see it almost all the time for around eight dollars, so it's very expensive. I mean, if you're sick, of course, right? Get it and and get better. Uh, but I have discovered that in my case, at least, Torritone works better and it's cheaper. So yeah, if you guys have never tried Torritone, go for it because it works. And also the candies. I don't know if you guys have any trust on cough drops, uh, but in my case, you know, as I get um, sick pretty easily, I have a lot of faith on cough, cough drops. Cough drops, in el caso que no sepan, son los, los dulces, ¿verdad? Como para la tos. So yeah, cough drops are also very trust um, trustworthy because uh, they have helped me many, many times. All right. Um, who was the other person in charge? I think it was Angel. Pineda, was it you? Okay, teacher. In our case, uh, to a headache, uh, cold water, cold okay. water, and acetaminophen. Okay. Uh, to a back, a backache, uh, exercise. Hmm. Okay. Uh, sore muscles. Mm -hmm. Uh, tea, the uh, oregan, oregano tea. Mm, okay, oregano and, tea and mint tea. Okay. Uh, to stomach, stomachache. Stomachache, uh huh. Um. Okay. Uh, honey, honey tea, honey tea with lemon, okay. and tea and tea chamomile. Okay, chamomile. Mm -hmm. Tea, 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 tea manzanilla. Uh huh. Chamomile. Mm -hmm. Uh, to a uh, call. Uh, seria ap application of coffee on the chest. Okay. That is kind um, of extreme for a cold, but okay. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. uh, no, esa que se sería para la cold. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, insom insomnia. Uh, let you tea the uh, let you tea. Mm -hmm. Let us tease. I, I have heard about that. I, I mean, I do not have insomnia, like, you know, a strong case of insomnia. I feel like most of the time what happens with me is I just don't want to go to bed. Uh, but uh, yeah, the times when I have felt like, you know, I am just rolling and rolling and rolling uh, on my bed. I always have thought of like coming to the kitchen and make, preparing myself uh lettuce tea because i have heard so many times that lettuce tea is the solution for insomnia i don't know how true that is but you know uh for those who maybe didn't know lettuce tea give it a try you know give it a try if you guys have issues if you guys have issues uh falling asleep give it a try before you you know um listen to music watch videos or read 
uh, maybe some let us see can can solve your problem much faster. Okay. So yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, I think you, the other person in charge, uh, as far as I remember, um, it was Jacqueline. So um, what are the results or the solutions that we have, Jacqueline? My teacher, good evening. In, in my case, my group recommend a, a call and coast. He see the lemon with honey, mm -hmm. a lemon with honey, and stomach case, rice water. Uh, how do you say guayaba? That is a great question. I do not know. <laughs> uh, the agua, agua de guayaba, the de guayaba, and um, a headache. Uh, Mm, and a second mm -hmm. thing. Only. Okay. So guayaba, it is supposed to be oh wait, no. Guava. That's what I get here, but I don't I'm not sure. Let me see if I can get a better result. Um so yeah, it's guava. That's what they call it. Guava. Okay, so nice. Uh, sounds you know like your results were creative. Sounds like you your group got you know some chamanes in there, cause yeah, I, those are things that I hadn't really heard that much. So, pretty cool. That's those sounds sound like very very nice um solutions. Yes, Cindy. In my family, everything is cool with ginger. Ginger. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah here in uh, you know most of the times i am when i'm teaching these classes i'm at the kitchen so here behind me is uh my fridge and we have uh, uh i don't know how much but it's a lot of ginger you will not believe how much ginger we have so the other day i i had like um a sore throat you know i was having issues with my voice it it was lucky because it was actually the only week when I didn't work because I finished the um the last module three weeks ago let's say so last week or like the previous week two weeks ago it was when I got the sore throat so I wasn't able to speak you know I was quiet I was mute um de hecho no sé si cuando empezamos todavía la voz la tenía algo rasposa o sea lunes pasado cuando empezamos las clases todavía estaba un poco mal but the thing is that yes. um, all the teas that my family recommended, they all included ginger. And all the time, you know, when I have family that they come visit from the U.S. or from wherever they come, they all want to go to El Super. And the first thing they want to get is ginger. And I'm like, dude, I don't like the flavor of ginger. But, well, you know. I, it's like behind me, there is a, uh, the, you know, the China and in the China, they uh, always bring teas and most of those teas are ginger teas. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe it works. Uh, I try it sometimes. I am getting even used to the flavor nowadays. Um, but yeah. So, lo que estaba, la cosa que sí con la que me quedé fue con lo que dijo Ángel, que o sea, aplicarse cofal. No sé si fue que se confundieron o si de verdad se aplican cofal para la, para la tos. O sea, por eso dije que era un poquito extremo. Para mí, o sea, lo normal es el Big Bear, but el, el, el Cofal, it was like, what? I mean, I would use Cofal for, you know, something else. But yeah, uh, I have never tried Cofal. You know, I get uh, like colds and coughs very often. Uh, and I will give it a try. You know, if you guys recommend it, I will give it a try. But the most common thing that I use is uh, Big Bear. I apply some of my nose, some of my chest, and that's it. Sorry, Flor, ¿iba a decir algo antes que nos vayamos? Oh, no. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, well, that's it. Thank you guys very much for sharing. It was great, you know, to get to hear from your solutions. And, um, well, sad that the hour ran by so quickly. But, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for your attention and participation in this evening's class. I hope you have an amazing rest of your night. And I also hope I'll see you tomorrow again. So, bye-bye for now. Hey, good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.